Hello everyone, probably all of you who downloaded our products want to customize them and I believe that's perfectly normal. So in this video I would like to teach you how to do that. And no, I'm not going to load all of the layouts and demonstrate how to customize each one of them. Layouts would require hours of time and frankly it would be boring so nobody would want to watch it anyways. Instead, I'm going to show you something better. I will teach you some general principles on customizing the layouts and I honestly believe that after watching the video you will have much more understanding how things work and, and that you'll have enough knowledge to customize any layout on your website. Of course, it will all take some uh, routine after, but at least you'll be know what you will be doing. So without any further ado, let's get started. The video is going to be separated into a few sections, so you can follow it more easily. First I will show you how to change the layout using module settings, then I'll show you how to do that using master CSS file. Then comes the best part of the video where I actually show you how you can figure out how to change any element on any layout of your website using developer tools. In the end we will cover some potential issues you might encounter after making the changes. While you are on the page, click Enable Visual Builder. You might already be familiar how Visual Builder works, but if not, I'm going to show you quickly. When you hover over an element with Visual in Builder enabled, you will see a few options. First option is to move the module uh, around. The second option is module settings, and we will show this more into details in a moment. Next one is to duplicate module, then you can save the module to the library and delete the module. Click module settings to see what we have there. This is what I would like to uh, go through more in details. Here you have uh, three tabs, content, design and advanced tab. First one is content and obviously here you can update uh, the content of the module. In this example we could change the title text. Also uh, there is a button text but obviously in this example there is no button but if there was one we could change the text of that as well. We could also update this content here. There is a URL option background and as it's in any other element uh, module there is admin label and that's basically just the name of the module that only admins can see. Now design tab is the tab you are going to use the most. I'm not going to go through all of these options but going just to uh, show you an, an example couple of ones just to give you an uh, insights of what you can do here. For instance we could change the color of the title just by going to title text color and simply uh, selecting another color. Also what we could do else, for example, in sizing uh, section, you can you can easily change the width of the module, and there's many more options. Uh, so I encourage you, please go through each of these options to learn what each of them uh, does, uh, and that leaves us with the advanced tab. Here, as the name says, uh, you can add some advanced uh, things. First one is you can assign a unique ID or a class name to the module. What this does is, well, when you assign a unique ID or the class to an element, then you can refer to that name in your CSS code. And CSS is exactly what uh, is probably most frequently used in advanced tab. And almost all of our uh, modules have some CSS added here. So. When you would like to update design of an element uh, or an, a module, please go to design tab, see if there's a specific option you are looking for in design tab, but if there isn't one, go to advanced tab and see if there's some CSS here you can edit. Sometimes when you want to make a change uh, on your layout, and there simply isn't an option for that in module settings, you are going to use master CSS file. Let me show you first how you can open master CSS file and then I'll explain how to use it. Uh, go to settings and then click unicorn assistant. Then 
you will see open master CSS uh, button. Click that and all the CSS will open in a new window. Copy everything and paste it inside your text editor. I use Notepad++, it's a really great and rich text editor that I recommend to you. You can download it for free. Now on this page uh, I loaded uh, blog module uh, 506 uh, in Unicorn Layout Pack. So if I want to make an update to this layout, how would I know uh, where to find the CSS that I'm looking for? You can see that this uh, document is really well commented. It has a lot of comments that uh, helps you understand which CSS is uh, related to what module. And I'm using bug uh, 5 of 6. So what I'm looking for is exactly this comment. You can see 5 uh, uh, of 6 blog DV layout kit. So all the CSS uh, I can find under this comment. Uh, let's see what we could change here. For example, this uh, text by before the author name. And you can uh, see that text exactly here. So what else you could do is if you would like to change the by uh, text, you could open up uh, find box by uh, pressing Ctrl plus plus F and then simply looking for by text and it would, it would find this. And let's update or let's just get rid of this text. And once you finished making updates to your CSS, you want to copy this CSS and paste it back to your website. But you don't have to copy everything here, just the blocks of CSS where you made your changes. So I want to copy only this. However, also I can get rid of the line uh, where I didn't make changes. So I'm left with this. And when you copy the CSS, go back to the page, then go to edit page screen. Click page settings and paste the CSS inside custom CSS box. Click save and update the page. Let's preview. And you can see that uh, text by is gone or bye bye. So that's basically how you uh, use master CSS file. And in next video section I'm going to explain to you how you can figure out how to find where to change something when you're not really sure. You can't find it in module settings, you can't find it in master CSS. For this we are going to use developer tools and that's something that all major browsers have and you can open it by hitting F12 on your keyboard and something similar to this uh, will appear. Well, exactly like this if you're using Mozilla like I do, but if you're on a different browser that's okay, something really similar similar will pop up. And there is a lot of options here, so don't freak out, we are only going to use one of the options and that's this one uh, in your top left corner, it's called Inspect Elements Tool. And with that enabled you can see that when you hover over an element, uh, this selection appears over the element and what this does is when you click the element uh, on your right here under rules tab all the relevant information about that element you have clicked uh, is shown and what's most interesting for us is the text in blue and that text uh, tells us uh, where the CSS is located in which file so you can see for instance here it says blog unicorn DV layout kit.css and that's the name of the file and there is also this number and that tells you on which line is the CSS so obviously it's referring to this CSS here so it tells you what file and on what line so you can easily find where to change uh, this CSS or this block is uh, you can see on the same uh, file but under uh, but uh, on other uh, line number however sometimes it doesn't tell you the file name and let me tell you why for example if you click on uh, author name and 
On your right here you will see the CSS we added earlier to remove the by text and instead of the file name it says inline. So what that means is that this CSS uh, isn't in any file but it's in the options. So when you see inline it tells you that uh, you are looking for the CSS that's located in page or theme options. So there you go, that's uh, how you know where to look for something when you want to change it but can't find it immediately. If you've been developing websites earlier, uh, probably happened to you that you made some changes to your website, then you load your site and nothing shows, like you didn't make any changes. Why this happens is most probably due to caching enabled on your website. So if you have any caching plugins, uh, please deactivate them while developing your website. After you finish, then you can reactivate the plugin. Also, there are other uh, places where you can deactivate caching or card minification. Uh, what I can suggest is going to DV theme options and disabling uh, this feature here, minify and combine CSS files. As well, you can disable that temporarily and enable it back uh, when you're done with making your website. Also, when you go to uh, Builder, make sure to disable static CSS file generation. And that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.